What is up guys, I'm Daddy Gamer Fred and welcome back to another Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee discussion video. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about the walking animation video clips that got put on the Japanese Pokemon YouTube page but got uploaded unlisted. So you can't actually see it on their YouTube page unless you actually click a link to get there. I'm gonna have that link in the description below so you guys can check it out. Shout out to Cerebi.net for providing us with these links. So let's just jump right into the footage that we got. Now the first clip is gonna be of Venusaur running through I believe Route 22 into Viridian City and this one is causing everyone to go bananas over because of the fact of the running animation that actually Venusaur has. Venusaur is obviously modeled after a frog and it's hopping through the world and everyone is fucking going insane about it because they didn't realize fucking Venusaur was a fucking frog. I'm one of those people who kind of love it because it's true to its inspiration you know if they drawing a frog then let it walk like a fucking frog i don't see anything wrong with that because this is their interpretation of how venusaur would move around in a world like this a lot of people want to see it run like fucking arcanine but come on guys be real one thing I, i'm kind of disappointed is that we're not riding on fucking venusaur's back which i would have loved us being on top of the fucking flower while venusaur is just running about i would think Venusaur would be a little bit bigger if, if we're talking about to scale with the Pokemon trainer seeing the Pokemon trainer a little bit taller than Venusaur is kind of a thing that I'm like whoa 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 isn't Venusaur supposed to be like this giant shit kind of like Charizard but I'm not too sure either way I love the running animation on Venusaur I think it's pretty cool and I don't think people should be too upset about it one thing I do want to point out about this little clip of Venusaur running that we do get inside of Viridian City we do see a tree on the left hand sign on the top hand corner just like we did in the Pokemon Yellow, Pokemon Red, Pokemon Blue, Pokemon Green games. Now if you do know in those games you did have HMs to cut trees like this down. One thing I do want to ask you guys is that do you think we're going to see a return of HMs in this remake or do you think that they're going to treat HMs kind of how they did in Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon which I kind of hope they do where you kind of use a Pokemon that you either always had on you or you can call in to you know cut down a tree or to fly you to a certain place or to break a boulder down do you think that we're gonna get that implemented in pokemon let's go pikachu and let's go eevee or do you think they're gonna bring back hms and we're gonna need an hm slave to cut stupid trees like this down that are gonna be in our way either way let me know in the comment section below your thoughts about it now the second clip we see is of electro rolling down in pewter city now we don't actually see anything new inside of pewter city inside of the shot we kind of already knew how electro was going to look in the first reveal trailer of Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee. So I'm going to move on just briefly to the other ones. I think it's pretty cool. One thing I'm kind of disappointed is that Electro is like keeping the same face throughout this whole animation of him rolling. I would love to see a different face expression every time it rolled down or a smile or something indicating that he was blinking or something. It just seems very dead if you ask me. But hopefully this is not final and we see an improvement to this walking animation not my favorite but i do think it's pretty cool either way then the next one is probably the cutest walking animation that we've seen and that of course is of caterpie in the same area that we see venusaur and walking through route 22 into viridian city i say this is the cutest one that we've seen because we see the pokemon trainer running so faster than the actual caterpie in this footage and to me it's just it's kind of hilarious but it is also kind of cute Caterpie trying to actually keep up with the Pokemon trainer. Now, obviously, if you run too far, Caterpie is just going to pop back in this Pokeball and then pop back out behind you. It's not going to actually get lost in the wild, so you don't have to worry about that. One thing I do know is that maybe it's actually implemented inside of the games, or maybe this guy just had a rappel on, but he got really close to a Sparrow and didn't ignite the Pokemon battle, which is kind of interesting to me because I would think if you're at least this close, the battle would probably start but it didn't and also I wonder if the 
Pokemon following behind you, trailing behind you, could initiate the Pokemon battle if they were to bump into the Pokemon. That is something we haven't seen, and I would doubt that actually, because I would think the Pokemon trainer would be the one to ignite the battle. But I do think it would be pretty interesting if the Pokemon following behind us was able to interact with other Pokemon in a while and ignite the Pokemon battle that way. And I'm saying Pokemon battle, but it's actually just a capture phrase inside of this game. So now the next footage we see is of Onyx, and I'm pretty kind of bummed that we see Onyx because don't show us the Pokemon that you've been showing during the initial trailers and stuff like that. During the treehouse, we've seen Onyx raging on through Pure City. One thing we do see that's kind of brand new that we didn't see is this hiker sitting on the bench next to the Pokemart with a Geodude floating about, and that's pretty much it. You could probably make out that Geodude is gonna float around like this as a walking animation, but that's kind of it. Again, you don't kind of get anything new from this footage right here. You do see the quote unquote Pewter City Garden with the NPC sitting there with Caterpie this time. It's pretty cool. And then also, lastly, they do show that you can talk to the Onyx and see how it's feeling while you're riding on top of it, which I think is pretty cool as well. You don't have to jump out or jump off Onyx, honestly, to interact with it. I think that's pretty cool. And then one of my favorites, second favorite to the Caterpie one is Golem inside of Diglett's cave. Now one, because we're getting actual footage of Diglett's cave and we're seeing that Zubats are, are appearing in the wild. We're seeing Diglett is appearing in the wild. And of course the trio is appearing in the wild in this cave, which is pretty cool. One, because I do remember Pokemon Yellow in Diglett's cave, specifically going in there to catch me a duck trio so I can beat Lieutenant Surge. I think you can catch one there relatively high level as well and just get it to the point where it can no earthquake or no dig and just go in and just hammer out Lieutenant Surge who had that, I believe, Raichu at the time. So let me know in the comment section below your thoughts on Diglett's Cave and also your thoughts on Rolum basically being a ball that doesn't have anything on it besides the cracks, which is pretty cool. It kind of lines up to how Rolum has been portrayed in the past in animes and stuff when he's doing his rollout attack and stuff like that. I do think it's pretty cool that they use that as the walking animation and we don't just see him running about that he is one of those Pokemon that is going to be rolling kind of like Electro but I think all of these walking animations to be honest is kind of cool so I just wanted to get my thoughts out there to you guys I've been on vacation the past couple of days that's why I actually didn't get this video out sooner but let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and let's talk about these walking animations do you have an issue with any of them again I've been seeing a lot of chatter of people having an issue with the Venusaur walking animation I think it's fine but of course express your opinions in the comment section below and also let me know which one is your favorite out of these bunch like always guys I'm daddy I'm a Fred on Instagram and Twitter and you guys could bring the conversation there I'm the American gamer in Switzerland right here on YouTube and yes I'm gonna be doing a ton of videos just like this one so if you enjoy please hit that subscribe button also hit the like button it does help me out a ton as far as growing the channel is concerned ring the bell if you want to be notified on the next time I drop a video peace I'm gonna see you you guys on the next one.